first yeah. 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 Claude yeah. Barnett, all the writers, the Richard Wright, flushed that one out. That means it's still uh, Lorraine Hansberry, okay. right? Zardy Hurston, right? The whole literary WPA, Dr. Burroughs, right? Mm -hmm. All of that came out of the culture of Brownsville when the Roosevelt administration decided to fund the arts. I got, I ain't got my butt on my, the Chicago Cultural Plan. Right. They know that that's an industry. They know that that's a quiet economy. You got some artists around here with a quarter million dollars worth of art in their houses. Yeah. All through Brownsville. We're we finna do a mural tour of Brownsville. The mural capital of the world started here with the Wallace Respect on 43rd Mike. Wow. All right? That's our authentic cultural experience. It is priceless. But if, if our children don't know it, and they don't have don't know how to apply it to their everyday lives as you would an eighth grade civics class, which they took out the school system because they didn't want you to understand government mm -hmm. and how it works. Right? When I was growing up, that's you had to get past your civics class to know how to, at least how the government worked the separation between church and state. At least you gotta know that. They don't even want the kids to know that today. Mm. So they're being blindsided and if you got the right kind of money and the right kind of connections, right? Or if you got one of these scholarships from the politicians, right? You might get an education. Other than that, you ain't got nothing coming as a taxpayer. Unless you're extremely brilliant and somebody just wants to mentor you and help you along. And fortunately, there are people out here who, are, who have that kind of spirit and we, that, that will help. But I'm saying that we don't have that commonwealth among ourselves of understanding that we got to prepare the next generation for what the jobs are going to be in the 21st century.